Land Rovers are fantastic as long as they're working. And when they're not working, they're a pain in the neck. Uh, because uh, they seem to have been designed by master's degree students who have never picked a spanner up. They drive you up the wall. Now, uh, one of the gamekeepers was saying to me recently, he said Land Rover 90 was fantastic, that's all we needed. But now we have to have a massive pickup, and because the pickup's massive, we have to have a quad, and because we've got a quad, we need a trailer, and the old Land Rover did everything. Anyway, this one conked out on me the other day. Uh, the fuel pump isn't running, it's TD5. You should be able to hear the fuel pump all the time, and I can't. So, is it the fuel pump, or is it the ECU, or is it the relay, or is it the wiring? Now, in typical Land Rover fashion, uh, uh, they don't tell you in the manual where the relays are. Uh, the hugely expensive uh, electrical workshop manual doesn't even mention the relays. And in this one, in the uh, uh, passenger compartment uh, fuse box, there are five relays. And they are marked on the inside of this uh, uh, cover so one would happily assume that the one with a picture of a petrol pump on it the green one is the fuel pump however <laughs> however the fuses are numbered one to ten left to right as you would expect but actually uh, they seem to be the other way around in this vehicle they seem the the actual fuses uh, seem to be left to right uh, I wonder if I could uh, pop that thing out and turn it around. Oh, I can't be bothered. Anyway, anyway. The fuel pump relay is the green one. Now then, I'm just going to have to balance the camera here because I've broken my tripod. If I hold the relay and turn the ignition switch, I can feel the relay clicking. So I know that it is uh, energising, but I don't know that it's working. So here we are, I've got a power probe. I don't know whether you're familiar with power probes. If I were to touch it to a positive, the red light comes on. And if I touch it to a negative, if I can find one. Uh, the green light comes on anyway. Really handy for um, locating uh, power. So if I touch it to that leg of the relay where the power goes in, I get a red. So I know that the wiring up to the relay is good. There we are. Don't even need the ignition on for this. But when the ignition is on, if I touch it to the outgoing, the purple and white wire, I get a green light, which tells us that there is no power going out. So if with my power probe I then energise that wire, I can hear the petrol pump running. Fuel pump, diesel pump. So I know that the problem is in the relay and nowhere else. So we take the relay out. And again, if I stick my power probe down there and touch the terminal, if I can reach it. And there's a the thing. Yep, fuel pump works. So we know the problem is in the relay. We could just replace the relay if we had one. So here we are in my den at the bench. Should be able to quite easily pop the cover off this relay. You need three hands though. Well it turned out I needed four hands and a pen knife. Anyway, if we take it out, we can see, well, it's a five 
pin relay. Why it needs five pins, I don't know, because there are only four wires going out of it. And they are the contacts. Of course, those those contacts are clean because they're not used. But when it's in the energized position, the other contacts in there are dirty. So I reckon if we clean those with a little bit of uh, whatever, wet and dry or something, we should be able to get this thing working again. So there we are. I've popped the green relay back in without its cover on. I'll uh, clean the terminals. Let's see uh, if the pump works. Turn the ignition on. No. <laughs> but as luck would have it, I had another green relay with the same pins. It's a Ford relay. I don't know where it came from, but uh, it looks fairly similar. So let's turn the ignition on and see. Yep. I don't know whether you can hear it, but the pump's running with the ignition switch. Simple as that. So I'm going to order a couple of relays up and keep one in the thing for spare.